Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm working on this, which is an Acer Aspire F5571 laptop, and we are going to be upgrading this with a solid-state drive. So we are going to start with a Phillips, uh, I believe it is, zero size screwdriver, and we are just going to go around the base and remove all of the screws. There are quite a lot of screws in this particular model, uh, but they are all visible you know, from the underside of the laptop. Um, I was actually surprised I've never featured one of these machines on the channel because I've done a lot of uh, drive replacements on them. It seems like here in the UK at least it was a very common machine a few years ago. I think probably uh, Curry's PC World had some good deals on them at times. So you s used to see a lot of them. Not the most amazing machine in terms of build quality, the specifications were okay, um, but like I say, they, they tended to have some very good deals on, so you see quite a few of them. Anyway, we will go around the base. I'm taking all the screws out and positioning them just in the same order, that, well, the same arrangement that I take them out as I normally do. Um, I believe they are all the same in this base but it's always just good practice to uh, keep things simple. This one here is actually holding in the optical drive, so we have to make sure that we get that taken out once we've removed the other screws. So with that done, we can then slot out the optical drive and under there we have these three wide flat screws. The Phillips size zero bit will still manage those. And with that done, we can now take our plastic pry tool and what we're going to do is just find the join between the base and the palm rest and push that into there. So, like so, we should be able to Start on the side instead, that might be easier. A little better there. So, can now work along the front edge. So, we just want to generally fairly easy on these to get them separated. Um, just as I'm trying to keep the laptop flat to uh, record this, it makes things a little trickier. And what I tend to find best with these ones is to get things released down this end and then open it towards the ports on this. And then what we're going to do, the speaker is attached in the base, so we are going to twist round the base of the laptop and just ease out that speaker connector there. Upon opening the machine our first job is to disconnect the battery so to do this we are just going to pull on the two little tabs either side of the battery connector and slide that out. That will ensure that we do not accidentally power on the machine while we are working on it. If we were looking to add an additional memory module we can just have our second memory slot here so we would take a dim module, slot it in and press down so those clips hold it in place. 
to remove it because we're not actually adding one to this we just pull the clips out and pull the module out as it pops up. Now what we are going to do today is we are going to lift the hard drive out. This is not screwed in, it's held in, in this rubber mount. So we lift the end of the bracket and then gently slide the drive away from the SATA port. We can then fold down the sides of the bracket that hold it in place and position our replacement, in this case a crucial BX500 240GB drive and then just slot that back onto the SATA port and press down. While we're here we're just going to check the fan. So to remove the fan we have two screws and the connector here. Again just slide the, power, uh, the fan connector that way to disconnect it. We're going to lift the fan out and that is not too bad. We don't have too much in the way of matted up dust. If you wanted to lift the heatsink it is these three screws here and then you can lift that up if you wanted to repaste. So refit the fan, two screws refitted. Make sure to remember to reconnect the fan connector. Always a pain when you reassemble the machine and realize that is not plugged in. Now to put the base back onto the machine, we are first of all again going to twist it round and slot back in the speaker connector before repositioning the base. Again, the base to get this back on, best way of doing it, oh, of course we must not forget, reconnect the battery and to get the base back on what we're going to do is get it over the ports on this side, so we're going to line it up with the VGA port and clip it over and line it up with the microphone one is actually the sort of trickiest as that's quite tight around that. So we're going to press on that and down until it pops around. Again, this is not to avoid blocking the camera, I've not got the best angle to see what I'm doing here. And there we go, with that positioned and angled over that, we can now see all the screw holes start to line up. So we're going to press down on the base just to make sure everything is clipped in where possible. And then all that's left to do is to refit the screws to the machine. I hope you found this video helpful, uh, do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, hit like if it's helped you upgrade your machine, and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos as we post them. Obviously if you want to see just refitting the rest of the screws I'm going to keep the recording going. Of course the thing to remember is just to fit these three flat heads, or oh, sorry not flat heads but these three flatter screwdrivers before refitting your optical bay and to refit the drive before putting this screw in or it will have nothing to attach to. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you have a good day.